I dyed my hair white so that I could fit in with the idea of being a legend. <laughs> this morning it was dark. What a liar. Okay, let's get to work. Because we only have an hour and a half. Take the bar, keep the disposition, and here's a mistake. One, two. That's a half a circle. See, I'm going to do a circle. I'm doing a half a circle. So when you do the A, it's a circle. You're going to come from above and you land. It's not. All right? So first position, face the bar. And we're just going to do one until I tell you to stop. Ready? Just a chord, please. Okay, stop. Why can't you understand this? I'm going to take a step front. What everybody does when they take a slow motion picture of people walking, they fall. They use a little bit of muscle to allow gravity to Oh, hi. And they save themselves from falling by dropping their leg. Oh, hi. They drop their leg, but a dancer doesn't. You control. You don't let gravity control. Well, this is letting gravity control. You just relax your muscle and it takes you down. But this is me putting myself down. And up. As if I'm resisting. And I'm resisting. And it doesn't stop. It's I'm a bird. I come in. I land. I land. I. It's not I land. Boom. Right? So, do it that way. Ready? Fifth position. Get set. Now you're in the air and you're about to land. And land. Squeeze. Good. Again. It's, don't stop at the bottom. Land. Start up slow. Good. Again. Now squeeze. Squeeze. That's right. Land. Set. Land.
Now, we're not reading. Tokuta Celtic. For the culture of Celtic. Tokuta Celtic. Bjorish. Bjorish. Hooray! Set you up for the next words. It speaks, and the sweet, whispering poetry of nature shapes the musicians. It's one of the great poems about dance. Dance is primary. Movement precedes sound. They are wed, dance and music, because they both express time and space. It's not one, two, three, four. It's one and two and three and four. It's seven, two and three and four. It's also movement that expresses time. When we dance, we are using our bodies to express emotions, using the control of how we move to express time and space. Move more, move less. It's extremely the root of the architecture of movement, the control of how man moves. It's terrific. So there's a poet called Hafiz who wrote a poem in 14th century about husband and wives that fight, or daughters with their fathers and mothers, or brothers and sisters, or at faculty meetings, or meeting and arguing, and everybody went up and shouted. And he wrote a poem called The God Who Knows Only Four Words. The God Who Knows Only Four Words. Not the word no, not the word don't, don't, and not the words that make someone less than what they are. No, the God Who Knows Only Four Words keeps repeating them. Come dance with me. Come dance with me. Come dance with me. Come dance with me. Come. How could you fight someone when you're going to hold them in your arms, become one, and dance together? 
It's sublime. Hafiz is a Persian poet of the 14th century worth equal to Shakespeare or any of the greatest poems. Anyway, we, as I told you, belong to the group. That's why my book is called I Was a Dancer, because I can't anymore. I look at the curve and I start thinking, how do I figure which leg, how am I going to get up that curve? <laughs> but we belong, while you're in class and while you're dancing, part of a holy group, the dance. And Yeats, the poet, said, dance is the dance. And it's wonderful. So today, you gave me a gift. You gave me two hours of yourselves, unadorned, to play a game together of how we move, how we control how we move in front, not over here. So, and how we can put that together to tell a little story or make a difference. <coughs> And now it's over. So goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>